right? Stomach burning. <laughs> and our friends who go in, same thing happened to the Goan said, oh, excuse me, mm, what's the Singapore Airlines counter? <laughs> Check you, see you guys, aha, uh -huh, your goods, oh, mm, oh. Till yesterday, he was playing Gilly Thunder with me. Now this I believe. So I also wanted to go to America and get to see my classmates and show my hand because I know what they will be thinking. <laughs> my luck would have it. My company booked me on Indian Airlines flight to Bombay local. So I didn't have an opportunity to go to International Airport. So I went to those same only Indian Airlines was there. All these other airlines were not there. And those days airlines used to go on the air also. <laughs> Times are different now, no? So I went into the flight. Uh, and then I landed in Bombay. Now, Bombay is a very interesting city for airports. All the domestic flights land in the international airport. <laughs> and all the international flights leave from the domestic airport. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Yehi Mumbai Meri Jaan. That's all. <laughs> so, uh, what, is, what is very interesting in, I landed in the international airport, right, Indian Airlines. And the, that airport which I'm supposed to go to America is one spits throw away. If I spit, that airport is there. <laughs> but you can't go like that. You have to take a free van. That one will go to Navi Mumbai, Mumbai, Vashi, Pune, everywhere. 45 minutes later, come back. 10 meters from where you left in the first place. I think I organized by Bombay tourism or something. I don't know. So I landed in Bombay airport. Okay, it was around 11 o'clock in the night. My flight Lufthansa to Germany, then going to America, was at 2 in the morning. So, like all good Indians who don't have anything to do, I slept. <laughs> Give an Indian a place and he will sleep, right? <laughs> so I went there, <clears throat> sat there, I slept off. And suddenly I heard this announcement. See, my Hindi those days was, now, even now it's pathetic. Those days was even more pathetic. <laughs> this is what I heard in the announcement. Iski ski hamai ki chawai jahaz ke liye hamai sit ki khaal hai. Zama ki saraksha ham ke sami sit ki liye hamai sit ki khaar hai. <laughs> I don't know. But, well, because of cricket commentary and relay, and I heard two words. Suraksha, Antrashtriya. International security. Number flight now. So I went straight and showed the international security. It was a typical Bombay guy with me saying all standing. Acha, this is left hand side to Germany, okay? And this guy asking me, Acha, to France ja rahe ho kya? <laughs> Nahi bhai, my Germany ja raha ho. Acha, France mein kitne din? <laughs> Nahi bhai, my straight Germany, uske baad America ja raha ho. Acha, France mein family hai. <laughs> hey, Anna, yek minute. Hindi katam. Yek dekho. Map dekho, map. Chennai, Mumbai. Chennai, Mumbai, Germany, SK, France, go to America. Acha, <laughs> France made business, eh? Yada, Sandra Parana. That's when I got a doubt. Hey, boss, ye Lufthansa check in, eh? Hey, Baya, yato, yar, France ka check in, eh? Hada, boy. And he's already given me chapa cleared on Air France on my visa. <laughs> hey boss, what are you doing? You've given me clearance. What am I going to do? Hey, no problem. Two hours later, looked on the check-in. I'll only be standing there. <laughs> Bombay security. Okay. Then finally, I managed to take the flight. Managed to go to the flight. Went through Germany. Germany, nothing happened. Nothing interesting happens in Germany after Hitler went. But anyway. <laughs> then finally, I landed up in a place called Chicago. You've heard of Chicago, right? Chicago has an airport called O'Hare Airport. Now, Chicago Airport is like Ranganathan Street on Pungal. <laughs> People will be like walking everywhere. Hello, hi, excuse me. Hello, hey, 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 hello, hey, hello. Same thing, okay? But one thing, we Indians are very, very smart. You know, when you go to abroad, all they put this, what is that thing, which escalator, what is it called? Elevator. Whatever, you stand and it goes, no? Our guys invited it to Ranganath Street 20 years back. You go and start Ranganath Street, you'll be here. Which one shop is going? I'm going. I'm going. 
ஆயிரம் we were environment conscious those said itself go green we were okay so i finally went and went to the i was supposed to get a, take a united airlines flight to my final destination which is omaha nebraska so i went to the united airlines counter and said uh, excuse me i want to go to my flight to omaha nebraska sure take the train <laughs> all of indian class my said told i come to america by flight i will not go by train <laughs> i played for flight ticket why should i go by train what do you think that airport is so bloody big to going from one terminal to other they have trains inside the airport <laughs> so i went inside the train took that the train oh yo you must see that the train has no driver <laughs> automatic train and you go inside there are lovely lamps and lights and lamp shades and all those things what is beautiful about those lamp shades and ceramics is from the point you started and the point you ended nobody stole it Imagine something happening in Mumbai and Sistanaram. <laughs> Those Americans no wonder got into recession. Poor guys, they're not passing like that. So finally, I got into the terminal. I got my airlines, which is United Airlines. Now the size of the United Airlines flight to Omaha was slightly smaller than this table. I realized, ada da, okay. And one guy took the ticket. He was the same guy standing where I should go into the flight, and the stairs are all there for flight now. No only this flight, only this size. What stair? You can just walk in. And the same guy was piloting the plane also, and I'm sure he got out and did this to start the plane. That size of plane it was. But one thing, guys, especially guys over here, I tell you something. The flight had only 20 people, okay? 18 women. Every young man's dream to be stranded in the middle of the air with only women for company. <laughs> Later on, I realized those 18 women were 75 plus. <laughs> that gave me that gave me an idea what kind of town Omaha, Nebraska is going to be. So finally, landed in Omaha. Landed in all too much. We just drove to Omaha. This flight, where it could go? I am sure if I got out of the flight, I'd have walked and reached faster also. because i paid the money i sat inside so I took the flight we landed in the airport we opened the door and i saw the airport size it reminded me of a famous dialogue yen iniya gramathu makkale oma airport was one put together <laughs> and finally i landed in america lots of things happened when i went into america and i did a lot of things we'll talk about this some other time i just leave you with one small incident and then i'll i'll say bye bye to you a sense of direction <laughs> it's better now if i go on and say yappo is better so one thing i realized about the difference between us and americans and indians is a sense of direction you ask an american how to go to a place he say go three blocks down the road take the second left and the third building on your right no emotion no feeling just because i asked you should say like that huh? <laughs> ask the indian the same question how do you go there sir street up it lattu banga with that itself see see american use gps system and all that in our saying itself we you know how street up only that far you was going to take a left if it is quickly it be straight up it left with that is of the delhi direction everything they tell you straight and one more thing they give you more information also straight up it ah buri boy the i left it not only that they give you more they say sir if you go there if you see you see a huge icici bank if you see that bank you lift the place left the place come back before it's two left before <laughs> they tell you how you miss the place also that level of so i realize so So what I wanted to tell you guys is that you know everything is a story. Whatever we do, I, what I've told you is what really happened to me. It's not like I created a story. You coming from your home to college to Tidal Park, going for a movie, chilling out with friends, talking to friends. Everything is a story. We are all storytellers, and the more storytellers we become, more interesting we become to people. Anything can be taken and talk and talked about as a story, and it's better for you wherever you go. You want to meet people wherever you go. Become storytellers. Enjoy the. when you think about it today it might look funny at that time imagine being stranded in lufthansa without a flight it's sad think about it it's funny so think about it everybody has got a story 
and not all of us get to live our life today i am living a life what i wanted to dream i am living the life of a storyteller that doesn't happen all the time but end of the day there are stories with all of you try to share your stories to as many friends as possible the world will be a much much better place to live in thank you very much Nice time laughing to you. Thank you. I now request Shubhra, ma'am, to give him a momento. <laughs>